Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Nilnar. We're once again in the casting of Frank Stone. So when we last left off, we had one that got sucked into a portal and the other one was cut in half. I probably should have ran, but I couldn't do it. So let's uh, continue on with this story and see where this takes us now that we have done this. Chapter 7, A Perilous Place. Think we should go retrieve the rest of the crew? It's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean, he, he's a smart kid, but parents can be wrong. He's got to get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie, he can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie. Huh? It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out. Oh. Cold. Yeah. I got something for that. Pocket warmer. Okay, sure. Thanks. It's gonna be one of those nights, so gotta have one. Oops, I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. <laughs> I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Oh, he can be all right. He just needs to grow up. You've got to convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. He could come to New York, anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's don't worry ever about even imagined himself Jaime's not going to go anywhere. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. Yep. Gotta get I out of Dodge. Unless there's some secret unrequited reason why you might want to stick around it will be playful we know she likes and how's me. that any of your business bonnie rivera <laughs> look if there's one single thing a small town like this has to offer it's freshly squeezed gossip <laughs> why do you hate cedar hill so much you used to be like town mascot Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street, bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway, and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. Done so, broke down, kaput. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Bands, you know. I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Oh? She was cool, but once she found out my trip back home was indefinite, she and the band pretty much moved on without me. Hmm. That's why she's disheartened. You deserve better than that. Yeah, I think so, too. Maybe we should go find everybody else. Are you sure? I was just starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> you don't want to go in there. Second, my mom comes home, it's lickety splitsville for this chica. Lickety splits, scrams, wham, bams, and thank you, mans. I'm still not sure I. I'm leaving Cedar Hills for good. Oh. Can't say I blame you. Back to the city? Mm, where else am I gonna go? Well, there are other cities, you know. Nah, just the one. What are you gonna do there? Mm, same thing I always do make shit up. Fuck shit up. Maybe make some movies. Oh, yeah? Hmm, yeah, looks fun. Can be, yeah. Where'd you get that camera, anyway? 
Oh, well, it's not mine. I know it's Jaime's. I asked you. Uh, we got it from a curiosity shop in town. Uh, probably the only one then. Yeah. Hey! Guys? Hello? Hey, where'd everybody go? We went in here. Here you go. No more. He's not. Linda, he's not. He's not breathing. No, 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 no. No. Oh, how could this fucking happen? How could this fucking happen? I'll be shocked. I don't. I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. My baby brother. Funny. <laughs> I don't know if it's safe for us to be here. We don't know what happened. Uh, what about the camera? Maybe maybe they were filming when... Uh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. We should find Chris and Robert. Uh, no, I don't want to leave Jaime. Whoever did this might still be here. We can't stay, okay? We gotta go. Yes, get out of here. <laughs> Okay. The camera. What the hell was that? I gotta find a way out of here. Okay, we gotta follow this power cord. If I can get up there, that's my way out. There's the generator. If we can get it started. Don't see anybody around. Maybe that's my way out of here. Find parts, huh? Check over here.
perks. Repair this generator now. Come on, we can repair it. Got it repaired. Hey, can we do it now? Okay, climb up here, let's get out of here. We gotta yeah. save her. Okay, it's gone. Oh God, I need to find Bonnie. Okay, we did the escape. But this was the right way. Seems so. Chapter 8. Mystery Manor. Nice. Miss Castle. Oh, it's been a long time. Yes. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Twenty years at least. I don't keep track of years anymore. Seems to be working out for you. Pretty spry for an old man. I'm sorry, but we have to spare the pleasantries. There's almost no time at all. We need to talk. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing and if you just want to talk? You keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Sam, do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? Maddie, this is Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Former Sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. Well, I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? Because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait, are you talking about the film? Is he talking about the film? Oh, it was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Oh, it's going to spell the end of this world. Maybe even every other. Hmm. Okay, Sam. You're not making a lot of sense. Are you sure you're okay? You're too old to be running around like a secret agent. I'm in the best shape of my life. And everything I'm telling you is true. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now. Uh, don't you understand what I'm saying? I... No. I'm sorry. Ugh. Just tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? 
We've all got our pieces. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but Augustine has made us all an offer. And you turned her down. Right? Not yet. We haven't committed to anything yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then we can work with this. Now, if we play our cards right, we might still have a chance to fix it. Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son! But it's not just a film. It's, it's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's, it's pure, malignant corruption. And it's... Hunger is unbounding. Oh, okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? Nope, he's not. Pretty rich coming from you, Mr. Stanford. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh, unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. <laughs> Dude is a walking mess. Uh. I gotta hand it to you. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? Did this charlatan tell you how he manipulated my son and stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life? I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. <sighs> Fuck this! I'm done with your shit, man. Uh, should we go after him? Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. But I don't think anybody should be wandering off alone right now. He is for real. You better believe him. Trying to save your life. That's in 2311 in corner. Was this locked before? Probably. Hey! Hey, hold up a sec! Stan! Where'd he go? Why is this here? Whoa. That changed. That's not how we came in. You want a bathroom break or something? Dan! Being sure those statues didn't turn or face me. What do we have here? Oh god. The occult. Just what I need. Yeah. The plot thickens. And now we're going into... Danger. High voltage. Generator. What the heck is this place? Looks 
like some sort of pattern. down. Okay, that made something happen. That's good, I think. Hold on! I always knew every super rich asshole had a room like this in their house. Okay, now we gotta do the next pattern. Okay, we're cooking now. Two more of those ring thingies to go. Okay. I know who that Just is. Hang in there. I, I'm I'm gonna get you out. <sighs> Whatever happened to a good old-fashioned on-off switch? Okay, one down. One more to go. Tell me. See if we can do this last one. It is. This is not good, but we're going to let her out anyway. Oh, dang it. Shit. Okay. Shit. Try this again. There you go. I had to move my finger so I could hit it faster. Okay. You did it. I would have died if we hadn't. You didn't age a bit after all this time. You're not in Kansas anymore. Next, Chapter 10, Meanwhile in Cedar Hills, Main Street. Miller decided to disconnect. I love when it does that. That one, there we go. Where's Dad at? Whoa. What's wrong, young man? Uh, nothing. I, uh... Let me help you. I I'm fine. It's nothing. Don't trust you the little lady. As if something's I'm just looking for my dad. Uh, the sheriff? 
The sheriff. Yeah. Have you seen him? Oh, well, uh, yes. Uh, where? Here and there, now and then. He does have a way of showing up in the strangest of places. Wait, how long ago was he here? Just, just now, or what? Uh, it was more than a minute, less than a lifetime. <laughs> uh, he's no help. <sighs> sure. Okay, thanks. The pleasure was all mine. I'll be sure to tell him you're looking for him. No, you won't. Chapter 8, Mystery Manor Continued. So that X was just uh, some point, not an actual chapter. Pretty sure they came down this way. I uh, wouldn't be sure of anything in this place. How did she get you here, Linda? What did she offer you? She promised me freedom. <laughs> freedom? Every single day since we made that movie has been torture. The dreams. Uh, I don't get a lot of sleep. I used to channel it into my films. Like a badge of honor. But 30 years of this. I'm sure it was no different for, uh, for Robert with his piece. And Augustine said if you give her your film strip. I can't destroy it. Augustine's my way out. And she wants the other two pieces as well. Stans and the other girls. Her name's Maddie. She's Bonnie's daughter. Bonnie's... What? Hard to believe. I know. Till you take a good look at her. Spitting image. I wish I would have stayed in touch with Bonnie. And now it's too late. Too late. Bonnie just recently passed. It's how Maddie inherited her piece of the film. Huh. That's... That's too bad. Why did you all keep a piece? What did you mean when you said all of this is because of Cedar Hills? I said it's because of what happened. In Cedar Hills. And what's still happening right now? What's happening right now? <gasps> what is it? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I'm fine. Just having a heart attack? Uh, find him all in. Gotta find him before his skies are folding in again and it's. Uh, Before you noticed. Take it easy. Uh, there. Uh, Sam, uh, you don't seem okay. We gotta find Augustine now. I think you should take a minute. I'll be fine. Now, are you gonna help me find Augustine, or are you just gonna get in my way? We'll be supportive. I think I knew something was wrong before I got here. Yes, I just wanted to see it for myself. I'll help you, Sam. Whatever Augustine's up to, I don't think it's good. I know it's not. All right. Sam? Mm. Sam? Sam? Hello? Sam! Uh-oh. So I know this is just going to be the bucket of stuff that we don't find them all. 
This Don't know is if you get a better ending if you do, or... Certainly something. Oh. All other alternate version. Theater carnage blamed on sick flick. A, a screening of the film Murder Mill. Wait, this screening never happened. What is this? Huh. Intriguing. What do we have here? Bonnie didn't act in this scene. It was Chris. Th this isn't right. Okay, that is not what we shot. No. Don't make noise. Just enough to horrify us. Murder Hill. Hey, what are we? Ah, ah. Relax. What are you doing? That letter's private. It's got nothing to do with you. You can't tell me it's got nothing to do with me. We're both here together, like it or not. So you better stop lying, starting right now. I haven't been lying to you, Linda. Oh, bullshit, Sam! Nothing about you makes any sense. Like how you just showed up here at this house out of nowhere. There is the easy truth, and there is the hard truth. And I just don't think you're ready for it. Fucking stop! I'm not a child! I meant no disrespect. But you have to understand the full scope of all of this. It took me years to comprehend. I take no pleasure in any of this. There's no reward for me when I've done what I've got to do. There's no gratitude, no gold watch. It's just sort of a higher calling. <laughs> God, you're so full of it. I'm not a kid anymore. And you're not the sheriff. You don't get to play high and mighty with me. Linda. No, you won't be straight with me, fine. But I'm not an idiot. I know how misdirection works. I can see what you're trying to hide. Did you think I wouldn't notice the second you walked in here? You should be at least 80 years old, but you're barely older than me. How does that make any sense? In fact, none of the dates in your fucked up journal line up. I'd say it's pure lunacy, except... Here you are. The wrong age. So what are you implying? I'm saying you might be Sam Green, but you're not the Sam Green I knew in Cedar Hills. Mm -hmm. You're someone else, aren't you? The time traveler. For every path taken, there exists another. Taken by a shadow self. Another reality. 
another world. Worlds so close they bleed together. Do you see? The timelines I chose were special. The bleed strong. The entity straining against the edges of our world. I didn't need Frank Stone's mortal vessel after all. I only needed the most perfect versions of his essence, trapped on celluloid, projected at 24 frames a second. Frank Stone will be reborn. sent into the damned and that's going to be for the next episode i hope you enjoyed it so far i know i've been enjoying it if so give me a like button if you're new to the channel give me a subscribe and we'll see you on the next one